Tony Monk, American Bruiser. Yo, Monk got that shit on, bro. All right, guys, now that there's enough people in the live, playing this brand new fighting game that just dropped. Let's play through the tutorial mode. I'm live right now on TikTok. We have about 100 people in the live. I appreciate y'all for being here. Let's play through the tutorial mode and see what this game is hidden for. Die by the blade tutorials. Welcome to tutorial mode. You probably hear my son in the background act like a little ninja himself. We just got the chunk. What is this company called? Nugget. We just got the nugget chunk. If you ain't got one for your kids, bro, go ahead. I'm gonna just put a little picture right here. Like, you feel me? This is your character on the P1 side, but this is your opponent on the P2 side. Sometimes you will have specific objectives in a fight. These will be shown here. P1 status, P2 status. Bar at the top is resolve. Resolve is used for all actions you execute during the fight. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good jumps, bro. Catch it. <laughs> you can do that too, bro. It regenerates slowly, but you can gain much more by successfully parrying an attack. When your resolve is depleted, it regenerates slowly, but you can gain much more by successfully parrying an attack. When your resolve is depleted, your attacks will be slowed substantially and auto block will not work for you either. It is vitally important to maintain your resolve and deplete resolve of your opponents. All right, bet. Oh man, we jumped up to 182 subs, bro. We right there, bro. Dots at the bottom are your lives. In D by the blade, anytime you get smoked, one life gets deduced. Players with no more lives lose the fight. Now on to number two, attack. Each battle is a fight to the death, dog. To defeat your opponent, you'll need to master stances, attacking, and linking. Let's start with the stance indicators. So this is for honor, in my opinion, off top. The stance indicator give me straight for honor vibes. Yeah, that for honor was for real. This might just be better than taking eight. No possible way, bro. No possible way. You don't have to talk like that. Hey, subs getting gifted. Sheesh, let's go. Go crazy. Go crazy. That man, Christopher, with the big gifted subs. If you just get arrows, show your current stance. Stances allow you to guard, attack, and opening in your opponent's defense and link attacks together. I bet. The stance indicator has two parts. The inner part shows your current stance. Hey, buddy. Papa, yes. Please. Not this one. I'm using it. You could put on a Sonic Adventure YouTube video. Hand that boy a controller that don't work. <laughs> and that kid is in the game. Switch. What up, Bryce? I see you, bro. Speed and wait. When you start an attack, your stance is locked for the duration of that attack. The outer part shows your inputted stance. Your stance is locked during an attack, but you can cue or buffer a stance change, which will come into effect immediately afterwards. I feel like that is so important to know, bro. Pay attention to that part. Appreciate you guys for being here, man. Watch when this shit get moving. It's about to get crazy. Normal is white. Pairing is Blue attacking is red, evading rolling or dodging is green, and stunned is gray. Practice changing stances, shall we? Yes, I like that. Switch the to top stance. Okay, so this is left stick movement. There's no run. You can switch stance with A. B is to dodge. And you can dodge in a dive. Just pressing B alone gets you a raw back dash. Holding forward gets you a dash forward. There's a recovery time in between dashes, so you can't go crazy. There's no back dash cancel. This says hit opponent with a vertical attack. RB for horizontal attacks and RT for vertical attacks. Okay, I see. What game is this? Looks good, yo, T. This game is called Die by the Blade. You said, let's see Switch go pro in this? Bro, I'll go crazy in this game. With normal attacks and stance changes mastered, but can combine the two in more advanced techniques. Attacks can be linked together. Each stage in the link is described as a triplet. Movement, direction, stance, and then attack. Linked attacks can break through stance blocks. They cost less resolve and strike faster than normal attacks. So your whole plan is to be getting these combos off. This is the default triplet. Move with the left stick, right stick to the right, and then horizontal attack. Warriors start each round in this state. To link attacks, perform the triplet in quick succession. In this example, the stance and attack are the same, but you must move the left stick on the second triplet. Oh, I see, so, so it is there. Okay, let's not improvise. Let's just get done what they're asking. Boom, boom, I like that. It is possible to cancel an attack before it is executed. This is called fainting. 
This way you can fool your opponent into thinking you are about to hit him. Let's go. This game is harder than I expected. Okay, bro. Okay, so you're telling me that this is something I should invest my time into. Let's get it. This way you can fool your opponent into thinking you are about to hit him. He might be inclined to parry or match your stance, and then you can quickly switch stance, hit him again for real. Bet. To execute a successful feint, you need to cancel an attack just before active period. It depends on weapon, specific attack, and your character's speed how long that is. Easiest way to execute feint is to simply press parry after an attack. Faster attacks or faster characters have short time before active periods, so it's harder to feint with those. All right, bet. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's nasty. Ooh, that's nasty. We about to get wicked with this shit, bro. I loved the Orochi, bro, in uh, For Honor for this exact reason. How you can kind of just like faint, faint, faint. Got you, got you. Light, 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 light. Down two with drag. Feel me? This game looks good, though. It does look good, huh? So it's kind of like For Honor. Yes, it is, bro. Yes, it is. And we haven't seen a game attempt to make a For Honor type deal since For Honor. So it's kind of nice to see the space get a little bit innovated and then change it up some. I appreciate you guys for being here in the live. We've got 130 viewers playing this brand new game called Die by Daylight. I'm, it's called Die by the Blade. At first, I was calling it Dead by the Blade, and now I called it Die by Daylight. I don't know. I don't even like zombies, bro. Let's get to the defense. Daylight is crazy, bro. You can roll to massively change distance between you and your opponent. Remember, roll takes some time to start up, and I missed the rest, but let's get it. Left stick plus LT to roll. Big rolls. Dodge allows you to move quickly away from the blade. It is especially useful against vertical attacks. Yes, buddy. Bushido Blade Remaster type game. Hey, turn up. So, hold on, this look kind of cool. I might have to cut. Hey, kids, that's what I'm saying, bro. Dodging and rolling can help you get out of a tight spot. However, it's often more useful to block or parry your opponent's attacks. Incoming attacks can be blocked in three ways. Stance block, parry, and perfect parry. Hey, buddy, glad you're back. Let's see this new game. Billy, what's up, bro? We here. Hey, Macro J, thanks for the follow, bro. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's get it. Performing a stance block by matching the stance of an incoming attack. A successful stance block will produce a blue spot. Spark. To parry, a successful parry will restore your resolve. A parry will block incoming attacks regardless of your current state, regardless of your current stance. A successful parry will create a yellow spark with the two lines. Perfect parries. You gonna play Akuma in Street Fighter 6? I am going to play Akuma in Street Fighter 6. I've never felt like that before. That's a conversation for another day. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna play Akuma in uh, Street Fighter 6 though. Me. Perfect parries restore a great deal of stamina are the only way to stop third stage linked attacks. That's good to know. Learn more about linked attacks in the attack tutorial. So it's kind of like how some strings you could only flawless block. You feel me? I like how, how you have to watch what's going on, bro. Oh, I got smoked. There we go. Perfect. So your timing doesn't have to be that crazy with it. No, it's not. It's not like super frame perfect like these other games. Wow. <laughs> wow. Is it free? Nah, it's not free, bro. 20 bucks, man. Honestly, that's a steal, bro. I like already how the attack system is simple, but leaves a lot of room for creativity, especially with all characters having the ability to faint. They really took the good things from For Honor and they're using it well. I think the defense is super dope. It's straightforward because when you have an attack system like this one, you kind of have to have a defense system like this. It'd be weird if there was a block button. It wouldn't make any sense. So the defense lines right up with the attack system. So there's no room for confusion. It is basic enough in its basic controls that you can just go through the tutorial and then jump straight into a game. So far, all pluses. I haven't played a match yet, but first impression, is i'm with this shit bro this is a tutorial for finishers in dbtb they have to come up with a better executing finishers can result in a brutal defeat of your opponent if you successfully execute your moves and they fail to block a parry in time each weapon has its own finishers which serve as a final blow to an opponent who couldn't defend themselves properly in order to perform a finisher you must hit your opponent with the last sequence to execute it correctly take a step back and perform the entire sequence fatalities bro right it's highly recommended that you complete the combat tutorial and practice the katana sequences before attempting to execute a finisher but let's try it out okay, but... there we go oh my gosh nope <laughs> splatter in the chat that's crazy man appreciate y'all for being here bro this game is lit so far i'm live on tiktok play fighting games over here bro we got 200 viewers everybody's enjoying themselves i appreciate all the follows bro sean carrier appreciate you for hitting the plus bro i'm filming a youtube tutorial right now if you follow you're gonna hear your name when you watch the video back you're gonna be like damn that's tight that's me bro i'm gonna tell you thanks for the follow bro how you play we just ran through the entire tutorial bro no cornea thank you for the follow bro i see you mr okutu thanks for the follow xq thank you bro thank you bro 
Thank you, bro. Is it a word tutorial video? About to make him break some character. Hey, bro, you know what it is. Let's start with the katana. That's what they said start with. Welcome to sequence training. Here you will learn to execute all sequences with one weapon. If you haven't finished combat and defense tutorial, it is highly recommended that you go through that first. Wow, Christopher! Ah! Ah! Let's go! Subs going crazy! Thank you, dude! Thank you, bro. Hitting 200 subscribers on TikTok was all we needed, bro, to get that TikTok live verification badge. Thank you, brody. Damn, that's crazy. Thank you so much, bro. There's three hits to that. That's crazy. I never knew that. Ah, right back at ya. Huh? Eat the cheese. Huh? Huh? Eat the cheese. Oh, you got it. You're safe. You're safe. You're safe. Fainting is honestly not worth it. It takes so much stamina. Oh, under his attack. And then... <laughs> Slice team. Crazy. Oh, he wasn't ready for that. Don't mash. Mix ups are crazy sometimes. Oh, I just stood there, bro. I threw the top heavy and got smoked for it. Play play safe, bro. He's he's on he's on a move right now. He wants to get it done. I'm just gonna go under his high when he does it, bro. Yo, the forward roll costs nothing. Oh my gosh, my light didn't come out. I pressed it too soon. I can't ha have this be final match, final round. I can't. I refuse, bro. Back dash takes so much, but the rolls are cheap. So, so you got to use the rolls, bro. The rolls are cheap. The rolls cost nothing. The rolls cost nothing, bro. You got to use them. Rolls cost nothing, bro. It's a must. No. Let's go. Let's go. Clutched it. Great game. Great game.